now inheritance so inheritance means that uh, so there are times let's say uh, there is a class called uh, uh, quadrilateral okay there is a class called quadrilateral i'll do that okay quadrilateral and how do i define a quadrilateral it's a it's basically any uh, shape with four sides a shape with four sides is called a quadrilateral okay so if i initialize this what are the things required so it requires side 1 side 2 side 3 side 4 and maybe two angles uh, a1 a2 okay if we define these six things then we are good to go like ang four sides and two angles okay. ang ek angle hata dete hain ha we need five things in overall okay yeah, actually to angle one bhi nahi chahiye uh just ah uh, theek hai let's make it simple let's make it simple we need four things okay so we have defined a quadrilateral as of now okay so i can say q1 is, is a quadrilateral so let's say sides are 2 comma 4 comma 3 comma 1 okay so that's it so i can do a lot of more things if i know what kind of quadrilateral it is okay now let's say someone says to define a square define a class square okay uh, sorry rectangle which we can start with rectangle so what we can do is we know that rectangle is a quadrilateral correct rectangle has four sides it satisfies uh, it is a, it is a quadrilateral okay so what i'll do is i'll say class rectangle and i'll inherit from quadrilateral okay so i can mention it like this so when i create when i'm creating a class rectangle and i pass another class inside the bracket it means i'm inheriting all the properties of quadrilateral class okay so i'll say define in it now in the in it we need to think with respect to a rectangle a rectangle needs only length and width right length comma width correct and i'll say super dot so if i say r1 is a rectangle and I just want to pass two two things now, length and width of the rectangle. So let's say four comma five. And I do R1 dot print underscore sides. You can see four, five, four, five. Okay. So even though I have passed only two things, okay, and I have never defined S1, S2, S3, S4 inside the init function of a rectangle. But I called this line. What does this mean? It initializes the, uh, the attributes of super class. Okay, so this quadrilateral is your super class here. Okay, so you, you refer to your super class like this super and brackets. Okay, and then you are calling the init method of your super class. Okay, and you are so the so init method of quadrilateral requires four things S1, S2, S3, S4. Okay, you are passing these four things here. Okay, S1 is length, S2 is width, S3 is length, S4 is width. Okay, and then you can use your sides normally. Okay, so you are inheriting these variables, attributes from quadrilateral to rectangle, and you are defining it here. That's all you are doing. Is that clear? Now this print sides, I don't need to define it here. I can define it here. Okay, and you can see I'll redefine the rectangle now. Okay, so rectangle, there is no print sides in rectangle class. You can see there is no print sides in rectangle class now. If I run this again, it still works. Why? Because rectangle class is inheriting all the attributes and all the methods okay from this super class quadrilateral class okay so this is inheritance now i can add a method called calculate area so how do we calculate area all we do is print self dot side one and if you want to define length and breadth separately here you can do that also then rectangle will have s1 s2 s3 s4 and length and width okay everything you can do whatever you want okay but as of now, let's use S1 and S2, self.s2. Okay. So this is what we'll do print for calculating area. Same thing I can do. Yeah, perimeter I can define here. Huh. So calculate area. Now calculate area is present in rectangle. And if I still want to call calculate perimeter, you can see that it is there for rectangle also, which it inherited from the quadrilateral class. So if I do calculate perimeter, I'll get 18, which is the sum of all the sides. R1 dot calculate area uh yeah so it will be 20 which is length into breadth okay now same way i can define a class called square which will inherit from rectangle because square is a rectangle okay with length and breadth equal so again self uh, sorry uh define init self and 
square only needs a single side. Okay, so I'll say side. And what do I need to do? Super in it. Okay, so super dot in it. And I need to pass length and breadth because rectangle needs length and breadth. Okay, so I'll pass side comma side. Okay, that's it. So I can say SQ1 is square and let's say side is 5. Now I haven't added any method in square, so it will inherit calculate area as well as cal uh, print sides and calculate perimeter. It will have all the classes, uh, all the methods. So I can say SQ1 dot. So you can see everything is available here. Print sides, SQ1 dot calculate area, SQ1 dot calculate perimeter. Okay. So all the methods are there. So this is inheritance, guys.